Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have a Yu-Gi-Oh opening that was kind of uh, last minute kind of thing. Uh, went to Walmart today and they had these legendary hero decks for like 14 bucks and I think they're like 35 on Amazon right now. And then they had some uh, blue eyes packs so let's go ahead and get started into that and see what all we pull. There are some loose cards in these. Most likely random stuff. Oh, shield and sword. It's hollow. But a lot of these I've never heard of. And that's most Yu-Gi-Oh! Today is just me trying to catch up. Because <laughs> it's been many years since I have played... And of course, because these are, you know, like original set, which is why it started with. Of course, I'm going to try and see what all I can pull from those. Well, we have so far gotten that really cool looking shield, uh, shield and sword. I remember that. That kind of looks fake. A desynchro? Is that like a defusion? That might come in handy. Alright, so we've got these four blue eyes packs hopefully we can get something decent out of these pot of greed I mean it's banned but being a casual player I don't really care too much about that it's always a useful card for a deck Forest, um, flower wolf. That's disappointing. I've never really had much luck with these. Like, I thinking that they're like reprinted packs. They gotta be because these say spell card. When they used to say magic, and then like Magic the Gathering was. Like, you need to change that immediately, or we will sue the crap out of you. Dark Fire Dragon. So, nothing great so far out of these. Except for that pot of greed. giant soldier of stone uh, I mean that's not terrible I mean like the way that the game used to play that would be pretty useful uh, put that in face down defense typically people would attack it and end up hurting themselves in the process alright so now we got this legendary heroes deck set I'd kind of like pretty rip the face so it'd be easier to open. Nice little storage box. We got links for the start of all of them. enemy 
packs that are wrapped like this. the art on that one. Now this is, I think I have one from like the original printing that I literally just used it for like the first half of the effect because um, like once per turn during opponent's standby phase, place one clock counter on this card. When there are four or more clock counters on this card, you do not take any battle damage. That's kind of broken <laughs> monster born yeah there are fusions toward the back That's the first one. The Destiny Hero deck. And <clears throat> there is a um, like Legendary Dragons set that I would really like to get, but it is currently selling for like 80 something dollars and I just can't bring myself to spin that on that right now. <laughs> Hollow Dark Hole. I am thinking that sometime here soon, I'm gonna have to like go around to some of the stores like the fact that Walmart was selling this for 14 bucks when it's currently 35 online I'm going to have to like go look around and see what else I can find Nordic deck. And the last deck, which is Phantom Knights. Yeah, and I'm quickly finding that, uh, like, there's seven different card games that I do for this channel that getting back into buying for Yu-Gi-Oh specifically it's like very addictive to especially since there's been so many years since I've played and they've come out with so much more like an insane amount of of like cards and card types and just like ways to build a deck and themes that you can have like it's just an insane amount that it's like very addictive to grow collection from old to new.
And <clears throat> like something that I used to like really try to stay away from that I'm going to like really be considering the second time around, especially when it comes to deck building. I used to stay away from any like negative effect cards like you know when this card is summoned you can send one dark monster from your deck to your graveyard to me that's instantly something that's like no why would i want to do that but when you combine that with something that brings something back from the graveyard like you can summon multiple things in the same turn because of something like that So, like, even a small, like, change, like, way of thinking like that can, like, totally change deck building. But for, like, nostalgia's sake... I did go back through and watch every episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! and wrote down every card that was used by Yugi, Kayaba, and Joey. So the first three decks that I go to build when I finally get around to deck building for Yu-Gi-Oh! is going to be like purely meant for nostalgia and it's going to be those cards only like trying to make it actually like a good deck that's only cards from that list for each of those characters and something that has been um, like re really like I don't know, game changing for me mostly is just like way of thinking for deck building for Yu-Gi-Oh! now compared to, you know, it's like back 15 years ago. Alright, well that does it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.